Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you my book journal setup in a Lady Falcon personal size. So like I said, this is a Lady Falcon and it's in the personal size. Her uh, notebooks tend to run a little smaller than some other makers. So even though this is a personal size, it is kind of small for personal. But I have three different personal size inserts in here that still fit pretty well, but they're pretty snug in there. They go up almost right up to the edges. So this particular notebook I purchased off of a buy sell trade group on Facebook, but I believe, although I do not have confirmation of that, that this was actually originally from one of her fandom sales. Uh, she occasionally will have a fandom sale where it'll be, you know, certain movies or themes that she'll do for, for different notebooks. Um, I believe she announces that on Facebook and then does it through her website. So if you're not a member of her uh, group on Facebook, you may want to do that if you want to find out about future fandom sales. They don't happen all that often, but I've seen at least a couple in the past year. Um, I think the most recent one, there was some, there might have been some Harry Potter stuff, and then there was um, Lord of the Rings, things like that. So this is obviously Star Wars. Uh, when I saw this, I was attracted to it because it was right around the one year anniversary of when Carrie Fisher died. And um, I was feeling kind of sad about that. And then I saw this and I was like, oh, well, I should get it just because, you know, that was coming up at that particular time. So I think this is a laser image on here. And it's supposed to sort of look like space here. I'll show you the back. It's really pretty. She did all these different colors with some splatter on top to look like stars. Okay, and then this has the pen loop in the middle. All the other notebooks that I have from her that have a pen loop are in the um, upper quadrant here. Um, and this one was in the middle. But that, that was not by choice necessarily. That was just how it came to me because I bought it off of a buy sale tree. Okay, so I'll show you what I have in here. Oh, and before I open it up, I have pointed out before that she puts little charms on her notebooks here. And uh, this this little spaceship one was an original one that came on it, and then the person who sold it to me also included the extra charms. Uh, she always included includes extra charms when she sends out her notebooks because this particular bookmark before had uh, someone else's name on it, the person I bought it from. So I replaced it with the other charm that was in here and it just says dream and then it has a little like a little thought bubble on the back. Okay and the pen loop you can see is pretty big. It'll hold this Twisby Eco pretty well. It won't go over the cap which but it works fine because uh, it is in the middle so the so the Positioning is perfect for putting it in here like this. So this is a Twisby Eco in the pink. It was a special edition. I think they're still available. And the ink that I have in here is Platinum Lavender Black, which is a semi-permanent uh, ink. I think it's an Oxgall ink, I believe. Um, and it will darken after you write with it when it's exposed to the air. So it goes down in a fairly light lavender and then it gets a little darker as it as it sits out. And the nib on this one is a fine. It took me a long time to get used to the fine on this because I before that I'd only had mediums. Um, and I didn't really like it for a while, but now I, I appreciate it for its ability to write in a smaller notebook because usually I have a larger size notebook than a personal. So, and originally I had started using a uh, broader nib in this in the notebooks that are in here which I'll show you here in a minute um, and it was kind of hard to fit everything in and I've had a little bit of an easier time with the narrow or the fine nib on this so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back and then open this up so this notebook I don't know which which configuration this is or if this is sort of a special edition or a custom uh, configuration on the inside. So here there is this little folio style uh, flap here, and then there is a little card slot here, and then there's a card slot here in the back, and then there is a secretarial pocket in the back. And here is my uh, notebook that I'm using for a reading list. So this is, I think the brand is Kakuyo. 
that makes these little sketchbooks. They're hardcover, but, um, and they make a whole bunch of different colors, which you can, I, I think I got all of mine off of Etsy. I'll, I'll put a link below to a store that you can get them from there. Uh, but they have Tomoe River paper inside in this grid, in grid paper. The grid is sort of a light blue in here, so it's not too intrusive. And the paper is actually very lovely to write with. So I'll just show you how I have my books listed here. And I've numbered them, this is two and three. And so I put books that I want to read in here. And then um, once I've read them, I just check them off. And usually, I am, uh, these are books that are in my Audible queue. Some of them are actual physical books or books on my Kindle, but uh, the majority of these are Audible books. And, you know, it, it used to be, <laughs> not right now because I'm not commuting to work, but uh, I used to listen to audiobooks to and from work. And first off, it cuts down on road rage. And second off, it, uh, it's a great way to get through a book when you don't think you have the extra time to do so. So this next notebook is uh, a printed book log that is for reviews that I got off of a seller on Etsy, which I'll also put a link to below. And um, you can see here, this is just blotter paper that I have in here, which is really, really useful. Blotter paper is amazing if you just want to write real quick with a fountain pen and then close it because otherwise it would bleed all over your page. But with the uh, blotter paper, it's not really a problem. So here you can see I used the thicker pen and I had some issues with fitting everything in. Um, and here there's, there's a spot for the title, the author, the date it was published, the number of pages, the date I started, the date I finished. Um, we actually listened to this book on a drive from Denver to Santa Fe, so we finished it in one day. Um, so even though I'm listening to this on Audible, I do put the page number just so that I sort of have a reference for how long something is. And then I'll go, I'll go to, so back here you'll see, it was a little bit easier to fit everything in with this finer nib. And you can see here that, here I'll actually do another little test here. But see how much lighter that is now? It'll get to be dark like that after it's exposed to air for a little while. Oh, and I apologize, I have been having allergies like crazy and my nose is just running. So if you hear me sniffing, that is why. Okay, so this last notebook in here is for book notes. It's just a blank notebook. And uh, this is again, a thicker Tomoe River paper. This is a 68 GSM blank Tomoe River paper notebook. And, um, and I just put, notes that I come across uh, in the book. I don't have too many pages filled out here for that. So, um, because sometimes I don't always have the time to write notes about a book I'm reading or, or I forget, but if there's something I really wanna remember that uh, while I'm reading the book, I'll put it back here. Cause I do, usually don't fill out the reviews and notes and stuff until I'm done with the book. So this is for while I'm reading. Okay, and I think that's it in there and and it all fits, just those three inserts fit pretty well. All right, so that's it for today. And feel free to like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. In a future video, I'm going to compare the different sizes of Lady Falcon notebooks. So if you're thinking about getting one, that might be a good video to watch, and I will hopefully have that up sometime this week. All right, thanks so much. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.